Oh, I'm out here by myself today and the swell is absolutely heaving. Um, the goal is to try to get myself something to eat. Um, I'm going to try to catch a snapper and I'll do a bit of a catch and cook in the pizza oven probably. Um, it'll probably be tomorrow because by the time I get back it'll be dark and probably be too late. Um, I'm not going to be staying here too dark tonight. I want to get back over the top of that bank before it gets dark because it was pretty hairy coming across and it's probably going to be even worse going back over in the dark. So goal is get a couple of fish, get it done early and then get myself back in while they're going still good. There's a big storm um, coming through again tomorrow. There was a storm yesterday and another big one coming through tomorrow. Just hairy conditions all around. Um, yeah, if I'm 100% honest with you all, I'm not feeling super comfortable here. Um, I'm in deep water. I'm in 17, nearly 18 meters of water. So I know I should be pretty much okay, but these swells, they're just really intimidating as they come over like this. Um, and because I'm on the back of the bank, they're hitting, sort of starting to, starting to jack up a little bit where I'm sitting here. It's probably not going to break till it gets in there if it is going to break, but um, it's intimidating when you see them coming here. The GoPro just never does this justice. Um, just never. The GoPro seems to flatten everything and just make it look smooth and like a bloody picnic, but some days I come out here and it's really rough and the GoPro makes it look like it was flat. Anyway, I'm just getting a couple of... I've got a bait out. I just chucked the muley out the back there then. I'll probably get two muleys out, a bait on either side. Um, I pulled up. I didn't even mess around today. I just pulled straight up into a spot where I fished before. There's already fish showing on the sound. As soon as I pulled up, I didn't even bother doing circles or whatever. So these are just pellets, just chicken pellets soaked in oil. Get a heap of them over the side. Whoa, what was that? Something was just full blown jumping out of the water over there. I missed that. Just saw the splash. So there my bait mule is there. And I've got a heap of shitty muleys here that have been defrosted a few times. These are going to be some bit of burley for me. Probably not going to be able to get these until they defrost a little bit more, but... I'll just use these to chuck cubes out. Keep them separate to my good bait muleys. These ones have been defrosted, so they're a bit manky. The bait muleys. Well, look at the difference in condition between those two. <laughs> so get a couple of them, a couple of cubes, a couple of pellets, just to announce to the fish, hey, I'm here and let's go, because I'm ready to catch. And look at that, straight away. Fish on. Wow. This, oh, this is the first time I've used this rod. First decent fish on this rod too. New endorphin. Um, jigging rod I got here from endorphin rods first time I've used it it's probably not going to be my prime snapper rod like this but I really just wanted to catch something on it I'm probably going to use it as my bottom fishing sort of jigging style rod oh, this will be a snapper I don't think it's huge huge well I know it's not huge huge but it could be the eating fish I came for Oh, it's a dolphin. I know I saw something splashing out there before. Scared the bejesus out of me. There he goes. Little pinky boy. He's just under. But considering I've been here less than probably two minutes. First bait. I'll take it. And mate, you're going to be lucky if that dolphin doesn't eat you on the way down. You better be quick, buddy. Oh! Oh, he just chased that down. I don't know that that would have gone too well for that snapper then. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I feel like that dolphin just ate that snapper. Oh, I was going to put a second rod out, but I don't know if I should now, because I've got a funny feeling this is going to be crazy out here today.
I'll put one out for good luck. You only live once. So goal is I'm gonna to try to catch myself a fish to eat probably tomorrow. Um, I'll probably do a bit of a cook up. I've been meaning to do a fish in my pizza oven for a while. Um, depending on what I got on tomorrow, I might get around to doing it or I might not, I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. But hopefully I can get a size one first. That's gonna be the biggest goal. Whoa, see, look at that swell. It's just standing up. That looks so sketchy. It peters out before it gets to me, but far out. It's intimidating to watch it. <laughs> Old mate Dolphin's just gonna hang around now. You got an easy feed. I think you just ate that snapper. Once again, the old East is way more spicy than they forecast it to be. Um, that's pretty typical, typical Perth conditions. And um, with those stormy conditions that are coming through, the wind's always gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a bit dicey. It's always gonna be a bit hard for them to pick. I'll just hope I'll get myself a fish and then I'm getting out of here because there's just lines of white water inside of me here. Um, I went out and around, so I'm gonna, I'll be going back that way as well. I'm not going to take my chances going through. As usual, I'm just fishing basic as I can today. Lightweight, single hook, um, unweighted. Oh, this side's unweighted. That side's got a tiny little piece sinker, like really, really small. Straight down, leader, a running piece sinker, straight down to a hook. And this side is basically straight down, 30 pound leader, straight to a hook without the piece sinker. Um, that one's just gonna be like a slow sinking. This one's probably, probably still gonna slow sink as well because there's a lot of water moving around here. So um, with the size of the sinker, it's probably not even gonna get to the bottom. I don't think it's gonna matter. I think if the snapper are around, they will come straight up to the boat in these circumstances. It's just one of those days. Um, it's always sketchier, these winter sort of days. The snapper are on but it's not comfortable to be out in a boat. That dolphin's just hanging around. It's probably just gonna eat all these cubes I'm chucking in now. Oh, that one's in. Here we go. That sounds like a better fish. Oh, I can't get this rod out. Yeah, that's a better fish. Wow, so this new endorphin rod's got plenty of plenty of punch to it. It's got a really light sort of tip, responsive tip, and plenty of down low punch as well. It's really nice. Feels really good. Oh, this feels like a half decent fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. One thing I do like about these jigging style rods is they've got a slightly longer butt on them. They got a longer butt, so you can sort of put it in your stomach and use it like this. Um, whereas the casting style rods I normally use don't have as long a butt. The only downside to this one is it's only a six foot rod. My other one's seven and it just casts that unweighted muley a little bit better than this does. But I don't intend to use this rod for this purpose anyway. This rod is gonna be my jigging rod. I'll use it for using my snap baits and what have you. This is a good fish. Oh, it's slugging it out. Oh, now that one's in as well. Oh, double hookups. Oh, I don't even know why I just pulled that one out of the holder, to be honest. I don't know what I expected I was going to do there with two fish. Oh, I think he just got off anyway. Oh, he's a solid pink. 
Where's my net? Well, there you go. Perfect eating size fish. Less than how long I've been here? 12 minutes. And look at that, perfect eating size snapper. He'll go probably around 70, yeah, 71 centimeters. I'm taking this guy. Um, luckily for me, that other one got off because I didn't really want to have to deal with two fish at once here anyway. Double hookups, are, double hookups are cool when you've got friends on board, but when you're by yourself, it's a little bit hectic. All right, let's get another bait out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that other rod in because, like I said, double hookups are just a little bit too hectic. Oh, what's going on with my camera here? She's gone a bit skew -whiffed. Now, this one got off and took my bait with it, but I'll leave this one rigged up in the corner here, ready to go. Uh, I'll leave that hooked up, ready to go, just in case I bust off or something with this rod, and I'll be ready to get straight back into it. So there you go, another half a muley. It's a um, Gamakatsu 80 SSW Circle. Oh, been casting along, Scott. Ping that right out the back. I just want that to sink down through the belly, exactly what it did last time, and that'll probably get pegged on the way down again. Um, like I say, when you get conditions like this, all bets are off. Well, I say that, and then I went out on Tuesday afternoon, um, similar conditions to this on Tuesday afternoon, but I went somewhere inshore and I couldn't bloody buy a snapper. I, we fished and we fished for probably a solid hour and a half until the sun went down and got dark for two small snapper like that. But the skippy were absolutely crazy. Um, I'll post a photo of my sounder pig actually to show you what the skippy were like. The skippy were just bonkers. You could have got out and walked on them. Every bait was just getting destroyed by a skippy. Um, and hence we didn't catch any snapper because of it. Because all the baits kept getting eaten by a skippy. Anyway, tonight's different. I've already got the fish I came for. This dolphin's just hanging around. Oh, that was a big swell. So again, just cubes of muleys, handfuls of pellets. I've even got one of those barely logs down here as well in the barely pot, just slowly doing its thing down here. The barely log just kind of keeps a The burly log as it defrosts just kind of keeps like a constant stream going. And then I just keep throwing cubes and a few pellets every now and then just to kind of... The pellets are really good because they've got oil in them and it like they get to the bottom and the oil disperses and it sends a message far and wide. Um, I hadn't used the pellets for a long time. I used to always have them in the old boat. And then I never put the container into this boat because they were messy. And then um, I fished with Michael West the other week. He brought out pellets and we had a great time. And now I'm sold again, I'm back onto the pellets. So, um, good burly, <laughs> this dolphin. I want to feed him, but then he's just going to hang around. You shouldn't really feed him, they're wild animals. I'm not really supposed to be fed. He's not meant to eat frozen muleys. Beautiful overcast conditions. Perfect snapper conditions. Um, I just wish this smell, swell was a little bit smaller. <laughs> and again, oh, dropped. That was a hit then. Is he still there? Can't hook yourself. Yeah. Here's another one. Ah, oh, snapper fishing. It can be so frustrating. Like I said, Tuesday I went out 
and I couldn't buy a snapper. The conditions were absolutely perfect. Everything seemed right and I just couldn't buy a snapper. And tonight, they're just on one after the other. This one's not as big as the other one. That's probably not that big a deal for me at the moment because I've got the fish I came for to eat. These guys are just fun now. Oh, this is a Samson fish anyway. You lied, Scott. Oh, that dolphin wants him. Dolphin boy wants him. Dolphins have a little penchant for Samson fish, eh? I've fed Samson fish to a dolphin before. See if he comes over here. Here he comes. Watch this, he'll eat this guy, I reckon. Ah, you can have him. Good luck to you, buddy. Oh, you're gonna have to swim fast. Yeah, he got him. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going against all of my own rules and my own rules say if it doesn't feel comfortable then you probably shouldn't be doing it. So leave and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of here while it's still light and I'm going to go inshore and sit on an inshore bummy where it's a bit um, a bit more user friendly and um, not quite so scary because I'm not going to lie this swell is actually quite scary out here this afternoon. And um, I'm not comfortable. I'm just sitting out here anxious the whole time. I know it's not going to break here, but it's not stopping the anxiety because it's it's just big. And like I say, if you don't feel comfortable, listen to your intuition. It knows things. Listen to yourself, you know. And if you're not feeling right about something, don't do it because it's probably not the right thing to do. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get out of here while the going's good and head inshore and see what I can come up with inshore. I'll get in there before the sun goes down and we we'll probably get half an hour or so inshore. Stay with me. Right now, I've raced back inshore. Um, Oh, I've probably still got half an hour, 45 of light left. It's, it's all good. It's way more comfortable in here. It's not breaking. Um, like I said, I should have listened to my intuition. I was feeling a little nervous when I first got out there and the longer I stayed there, the more anxious I was feeling. Listen to your intuition. If you don't feel right, don't do it. Just get out of there and go somewhere else. Um, I'm sure inshore will be fishing just as well. Um, judging by all the marks on the sand as I'm pulling in here, I'm just gonna head to this one little bommy here just inshore and for the record guys I was wearing my jacket when I was traveling um, people know where I am I sent them a text and told them where I was my wife my son knew where I was um, the sea rescue is unfortunately closed so I couldn't call them um, I guess you can get them on the after hours but look people knew where I was I had my life jacket while I was traveling and while I wasn't traveling it was right here within an easy reach to grab for me so let's get on with the fishing so what I'm doing now is I'm just coming in behind this little bummy here. You can see that. Obvious as anything, just the bummy. I'm gonna sit right on the back of that. I'm gonna pull on top of it. Um, unfortunately, there's a clay pot right there, but that's probably right where I wanna drop my anchor, to be honest, but we'll find out. I'll pull in a bit next to it because the rope's going that way because there's a bit of north in the wind today. Wow, look at the sound, it's lit. Hopefully they're not skippy like they were the other day because I just, the skippy the other night were absolutely crazy. I just couldn't get past them. There were so many of them. It was really hard to fish. Um, 
pretty confident the cray baits aren't going to be out here pulling pots at this time of the night anyway. So I'm just going to pull in here and drop my pig right next to this pot. Feels really weird to drive off of what was plainly a fish feeding frenzy. Like I reckon I could have got snapper after snapper there tonight. But you got to listen to your intuition and my intuition was telling me this is dodgy Scott. I was feeling a little bit anxious and yeah you got to listen to yourself. If it doesn't feel right you probably shouldn't be doing it so I bailed and it's way more comfortable in here. I probably should have come in short to start with to be honest. Um, it's way more comfortable in here. Plus that easily kind of picked up a little bit while I was out there too so I don't know what's with that. Oh yeah. Oh here we go, double hookups. Oh oh ah, oh shit! <laughs> what happened there? Oh this one's on. And so is the other one. I think this could be double hook up a skippy here. I'll go with the light one first. Oh, is this part of that? No, I don't think it is. Oh no, it's a little pinky. A little pinky boy. Little spiky boy. Little boy. Off you go. I'm gonna get out of here. It's a beautiful night. Um, I'm gonna bail before it gets too cold and too dark. Um, that storm's really mellowed over here before. It was quite dark earlier. I'm gonna fire up the pizza oven. It's not gonna be tonight because it takes a couple hours to warm up, but I'll fire up the pizza oven tomorrow and I'm gonna cook up that fish. Um, I don't know if I'll do wings or frame or fillets or maybe a whole fish, I'm not sure. Probably too much for my family, that whole fish, but if I can get some people to come around, I'll do a whole fish, but otherwise I'll cook. I'm gonna do a cook up tomorrow anyway. So I'm gonna bail it out of here and I'll see you when I'm back in my kitchen. Yew! I uh, ran out of time again today, so I haven't got the pizza oven going like I said I was going to. But I'm just going to cook up. I process this up into lots of small chunks, fillets. I've got the pan warming up here with some oil in it. Uh, I've got some chips in the oven. Got a salad knocked up on the bench. So what I'm going to try to do here, um, I've never done this before, but I'm going to give it a crack tonight. I'm going to make a sauce. Maybe, if I can get this to work. I'm going to try to make up a bit of a sauce with some chilli, some garlic and some honey. So I'm just going to tip it all into this saucepan down here and um, make up a bit of a glaze to go on top of the fish once it's cooked. That's the plan anyway, like I said, I've never done it before, so it's going to be a bit of a landing curve, it might work, it might not. So, I don't know, two teaspoons of chilli. Bit of taste for good luck. Wash the spoon. Probably just... Not super heavy on the garlic, maybe just half a teaspoon of garlic. And then a good squirt of honey. No, I'm just going to let that simmer and sort of just reduce down. Well, I don't think it's going to really reduce down, but it's probably just going to caramelise a little bit. Meanwhile, I'll get the fish going. I've actually cut these quite thin. So they'll cook. Probably cook pretty far. That's sort of simmering away down there. Got some chunks of fish. This one kind of broke up a little bit, but it'll be alright. These fish will make up for it. We've got a couple of other slabs up here. Never tried it before, but we'll see how it goes. Got one piece of my fish there. 
on the plate. And I'll pour this on. I don't want to pour it. I should really spoon it, but I'll pour it this time around. You know what, I'm going to get another piece of fish. Two pieces of fish. Pour on my little blaze. Gently. There you go. Honey glazed snapper with chili, salad and chips. Alright, hopefully it tastes good. If you like our videos, see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.